What is going on friends? Matt Carter coming at you with another monthly market update for the City of London and I'm going to be focusing specifically on the city in itself and not the surrounding areas. So let's get right into those numbers. So the City of London had 679 uh, sales that happened in the month of July right in the city of London, which was down about 135 from the previous month. Pretty normal in this time of year that we see uh, summer months, it's nicer out, people going on vacation, and especially this year with the province reopening, we're seeing a lot more people getting out there, taking a break from house shopping and enjoying the openings of restaurants, um, nice patios, going to the beach, things of that nature. So. Generally, uh, not a cause for concern for the downtrend uh, since last month, but we're still seeing the second highest number of sales activity for the City of London in the last 10 years. So you know that things are still hot in the City of London. It's still very much a seller's market and the demand is still there. Going with that, we had 805 new listings that hit the market, which if you look at the last 10 years, it's about average for the city. Like I said, a little bit of a slowdown in the summer months. And we also are seeing 0.7 uh, months of inventory in the city. So if you don't know what that means, that's essentially if no more homes hit the market at this time, how long would it take for that inventory that's currently on the market at the same rate it's being sold in order to be gone completely from the market and no homes left to buy? So 0.7 means that we're gonna be under one month of inventory, roughly three weeks of inventory, so not too much supply out there. And again, that is a 10 year low, four months of inventory in the city of London. So again, strongly ingrained in a seller's market. Sellers are still very much in control, uh, despite what I'm gonna get into in the next uh, couple of the stats. So the sales to list price ratio is just over 107, which means on average homes are selling for 7% higher than they are listed for. Again, this is down from the previous months. I believe last month it was around 13 or 14%, possibly even a little bit higher. So we are seeing it slow down slightly again with those summer months. But if you're a seller, no cause for concern. I'll get into that in a little bit. And lastly, one of the most important stats or the one that most people are interested in is the average price of a home in London is just under $618,000. So if you've been following along the last couple market updates or doing your own research on the side, you'll notice that this is actually down a little bit from uh, you know three, four months ago when we were seeing numbers up in the 640,000 range. And you're exactly right. We've seen a steady decline in the past three or four months of average uh, housing price. It's gone down about that $25,000 range. And while this can be maybe raising some flags, wondering if uh, we're in this big housing market bubble and it's, and it's gonna pop and everything's gonna crash, I wouldn't raise the alarm bells too soon. I feel like I said something similar in my, in my last month's video. So just keep an eye on these prices. I'll keep an eye on them for you if you wanna keep checking in with me. But I think we're gonna to have to see what happens in the fall in the next couple months once people start getting you know, back to school, back from their vacations, those sort of things. See if the housing market picks up a little bit and those prices continue on the trend that they were four months ago or if we're just gonna be seeing kind of a leveling off, which we might be seeing as opposed to the uh, exponential growth we've seen in the la over the last year. Still, average price just being under 618,000 is still up 26% since 2020 in July. So takeaway messages, I'll start with you buyers that are out there. Uh, seeing housing prices on average drop is a nice thing to see if you've been in the market for a little while. And if you haven't been in the market searching for a home, now may be a good time to see if you can capitalize on this little dip in prices. Um, we're also seeing a little, bit a little bit of a dip in activity in the market in terms of competition that's out there. So, you know, those homes that were getting 15, 20 offers a few months ago, still getting a few offers on them, but nowhere near to those double digits uh, that we were seeing before. So might be a good opportunity for you to get out there, see a few homes and see if you can get yourself a relatively good price for the market conditions that we're in. And for you sellers to take away from this, the drop in price is probably not the greatest thing you wanna be seeing now these days. But again, I don't think it's too much cause for concern. Again, keep an eye in the next couple months, see what's happening with the market. If you can hold off selling, if you don't need to right at this moment, 
it may be worth your while just to see uh, what happens uh, getting into the fall time, see if it picks back up again. Again, I don't think you're gonna see a drastic drop off in the next couple months. So you're not gonna lose out in, on, on, on too much money if you do wait a little bit. But that being said, if you are still uh, needing to sell at this period of time, you're still getting multiple offers on a lot of properties. Uh, sometimes maybe your realtor is just gonna need to do a little bit more work than they have in the last couple of years to uh, market your property and make sure that people are seeing it. So make sure that you're doing your due diligence and they are doing everything in their power to get your home marketed and uh, in front of many, as many eyeballs as possible to get the best price for your home. So that about wraps it up for this month's market update for July, 2021. Uh, if you like this content, if you like what you heard, um, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure you get notified for all my videos coming up in the future. And of course, if you have any questions about anything that I talked about today or anything else real estate related in the city of London, make sure you reach out to me. My contact information is down below. So feel free to drop me a line, text message, call, email, whatever works for you. Um, I'll, I'll get back to you and we can work out whatever works best for you in your situation, whatever you're looking for. So until my next video, take care.